pair low there. Right, we're in Blender now, so same deal. Um, adding a primitive and changing the resolution of the primitive if it's interactive at all. I've got rid of the default cube, so let's go and add a cube. So to add a cube, you press Shift A, and we can then add a mesh item, and we'll add a cube. So there we go, and I've got my two panels up: my object, my tool panel, and my uh, other panel. What's it called? My properties panel. I think we're going to call this. So okay, so. In here, we can change on the left hand side under the tools, we can change its location and its rotation. We don't have any options to change the amount of segments it's got. Um, and in the right hand side, we get the dimensions. We can change the dimensions of it to being thin and whatever we're doing. That's cool. We'll say it like that. Um, okay, but we don't get any options to change how many bits it's made up from. So this is just the cube. If I press my tab key to go into edit mode and then tab back out again, then we get we do we still have dimensions. We still have dimensions, okay, that's interesting. Um But we don't have and it's still got a cube, but we don't have any We don't have anything to change the amount of segments, I don't believe. Unless I'm stupid, which is absolutely possible that I am stupid but hopefully it's not okay let's uh, go over this and press the X key and I'm gonna hit delete so let's try something else so shift A again and we're gonna add an a, a mesh item and it's going to be a UV sphere okay so ah right difference so if I use my middle mouse scroll wheel and just zoom in a little bit so in this I can change the amount of segments here so I do get some interactive um, options on objects depending what they are. So I can change the size as well. Okay, and if I um, let's go with that to 12 as well. Okay, if I then go into tab into it, tab out of it. Right, when I tab in and tab out, that's a tab key by the way. Tabbing in means you go into edit mode, and tab out means you're out of edit mode. So I've come back out of edit mode, and because I've got into edit mode and not done anything at all apart from going into the mode of edit and then come back out again I lose or the ability to change anything so this is very much like um, inside Modo or inside Lightwave when you drop the tool so you were in a creation process you've dialed in the sort of the basics of what you want that to be so I've done 12 segments vertical and 12 segments around I've gone into edit mode is very similar to in light when when you press the space bar in or in mode when you press the space bar when you're now in edit mode it then converts it into uh, just polygons it's now no longer a primitive object it is now a polygon object um, and over here do we still get dimensions we sort of do okay so dimensions still work as as part of the process it's now aware of dimensions but it's now still aware of dimensions so let's put this as uh, double click that hit one. Actually, double click that hit hello one. Double click and go slide that one. Okay, and double click that and grab hold of them one. Right, so it's round again. There we go. Um, yeah. Okay. So there you go. Um, if you can't find this tool panel, by the way, Boop. you can hit the plus key here and just drag it out, and it brings it out. And that is it. Okay, so that's your tool panel. Um, there are shortcuts for that, and uh, doesn't work what I've done because I've set this to being Studio Max shortcuts, so the T key for tools don't work. Just to let you know, if you do uh, that, but you do get the option of rotate around the viewport using your left mouse button, uh, so your middle mouse button and your Alt key, which is preferable for me because I'll come from Studio Max land. But hey ho, I'm now waffling on. Shall I shut up? Right, uh, and on that mode, I believe, looking at my watch here, it is tea time. So, um, see you in a bit. Cheers.